It's geek time, guys. seen it three times. <laughs> that is my quota. I need to see the important movies three times and then we can make a video. So I've seen it three times now, so now we can make a video. And that is why we are late. <laughs> yes, she needed to see it three times. <laughs> so, but overall impressions of the movie. I thought it was really good. I went into it not thinking that I would like it, but I really did. I really did. I was the same way. I didn't want to like it. <laughs> I know. I was so. <laughs> I was so like. Don't I don't want like to like it. this. <laughs> I was like, don't but like I, it. I liked it, was, it anyway. It's it was, hard not to like a really well It was well, well planned. Made. Yeah. It's hard not to like a well made movie. Because mm -hmm. they're just. They're well made and they're good. So, it. Yeah. It was. It was yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, anything you thought that stuck out to you a lot? I. First of all, can I mention the fact that Jude Law is not a bad guy? It was so weird to see him as the bad guy. I mean, he's like, he's like, he's Watson, and he's Dumbledore, and he's just not allowed to be a bad guy. It made us a little sad. But, as I, I really liked the, the plot twists that the movie had, because they had, they had some good ones, and I also really liked the way that, like, the thing that stuck out to me the most was like the little hints, like how Fury, when he was doing the Protector Initiative, he saw Avenger on um, Carol's, uh, her, that was her like call name. And I, I was, and then he changed, I mean, you didn't see him change it, but you just assume that's what he should do. But it was like, oh my goodness, that's how Avengers got its name. And then like the whole thing with Marvel and Marvel. And, and when Samuel L. Jackson sings, can we just take a moment to appreciate that? It's great. Marvel sounds a lot better, you know, like the Marvel Wait, oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, hey, 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 Mr. Postman. Not ringing any bells? Keep singing, maybe it'll come back to me. <laughs> Um, anything else? Sorry, my phone's being annoying. Um, I really liked, uh, can't think of the name. Taylor? No, uh, the Carol. cat. Goose? <laughs> Goose, yes! <laughs> the cat. Goose! Goose was, was great. <laughs> awesome character. I loved the whole thing with like the Tesseract when he like took it because Fury was like, I'm not like holding that thing and do you want me to give you an oven mitt? <laughs> that was pretty great. I don't know, I just really liked the movie. It was just, it was a good movie. And like, Talos was pretty awesome too. Like, I, after you f So like, the second and third times I went into it, I actually went into it really liking Talos and that really changed my perspective of the entire movie because it made me hate the Kree so much more. Right. Going into it knowing that I like Talos, and then like saying, this General Talos, they're taking over, and it's like, it's like it made me liars. hate the Kree just that much more. Yes, I, honestly, I just, it's hard, like, just when you heard their story and what the truth was, it was like, wait a second, and like the whole movie just flipped, and it was like, yeah. But it was cool, like, because normally when movies do that, I'm not the biggest fan, because I'm like, why would you do this to me? Especially if I'm, like, understanding it and enjoying it, and, like, I'm on the side and don't want to switch sides. Mm -hmm. But, like, this movie did it in a way that I was like, oh my goodness, I've been rooting for the wrong people. And, like, it makes you switch it, sides. Exactly. It didn't, like, force me to switch sides, which I really liked. I think the first subconscious... Thing for me of recognizing the Kree are evil was when he was telling her to control her emotions and to start to start using this instead of this 
because every single Disney, Marvel, that sort of movie, Everybody, Star Wars, it's use, use your, your heart, heart, not your head. And so he so, said, use your head, not your heart, which would thus inhibit her powers and make her easier to control. Exactly. I don't know. I also, can I just say, the scene where she broke out of the AI, like, weird, gooey temple things. <laughs> There's gooey again. Do we happened. have a gooey quota? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it was that she, like, got out, like, that scene was just so cool. Like, the way that she was, like, fighting against it, and then, like, in real life, you could see her, like, fighting, and then she, like, like, came into this, like, like the fiery parallels of the two. <sighs> But like the fiery Reality. blaze, like when she just stood up and she was just this like fireball, I was like, and then she just what? like the just a blast that like knocks everybody over, and she's like short circuiting the entire lab. It's just it like, was wow. so cool. I also like I loved the little thing she did with Fury, where she's like, you take the tesseract, I take the lunchbox, like which I already mentioned. But it's like the oldest trick in the book thing, and like speaking like, of old, it's not actually old. I just loved the like. 90s, yeah. 80s callbacks, like the Fonz. The blockbuster. That's like the, uh, like the Radio Shack yeah. and the pinball machine. <laughs> if I was playing the same pinball machine for six years, I'd have some pretty high scores too. Yeah, no. And, <laughs> and Carol's friend and like her daughter, like um, Lieutenant, like um, Trouble. Yeah. It was like so cute and like that just the way that they fit into her life was so fun. I really thought that was cool. Yeah, I think, so watching it a few times back, I noticed something I didn't notice before. I don't know if you've noticed this, just the time that you've watched it, but uh, Talos, when he's, he like transforms into a person, right? But like, when he wants someone to know, he switches his voice to his own instead of who he's mimicking. So like, you know when the guards are like, they have all of the scrolls grouped together and there's four guards. And so Fury holds that goose and then goose. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And then so he walks by Fury and he's like, just follow along. And the third time, not even the second time, the third time I watched it, I realized he switched his voice so he sounded like Talos and not the guy he was imitating. I heard that but I was so invested in what was happening that I didn't really, like, make note of it. But, yeah. If, if you so. pay attention and if you're, like, like, I was invested in the movie and I still heard it, but I wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you're invested and you're, like, paying attention to everything, it's, it's a fun thing. But no, I, I didn't really, like, it didn't really register until, like, mm -hmm. afterwards. When I was, because I like to go through movies in my head after I watch them, because I'm weird. So, so yeah. and then, you know, Adrian and Savannah both know this. They saw the movie with me for the first time. Every time I walk out of that movie, I always say, "How do you think Loki would have reacted to know that the Tesseract had been in a cat's stomach, and then coughed up like a hairball?" <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, but that also brings up the whole fact that like the Tesseract has such a timeline, like it's just the way it progresses much. through the movies is so cool. It is cool, but we will be going into that at a later time. Yes. So stay tuned. <laughs> the eyebrow. <laughs> That's her signature thing. So if you don't already know. She has an eyebrow. <laughs> just like a look that she does and her eyebrow just like, it's her thing. I feel like it could be like, like the detective is like. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back on track. Um, and then, so I have one problem with Captain Marvel. And it actually has nothing to do with the movie itself. Okay. So, she essentially has the power of the Tesseract, right? Yes. Because that's how she got her powers, was the engine made by the Tesseract. Uh-huh. So, but she's more powerful than the Tesseract, therefore she's essentially more powerful than an Infinity Stone. And that, well, like, kills me on the inside a little bit. But then look at Wanda, though. Because she destroyed the, the Mind Stone. But that doesn't, but she didn't get her powers from it. The fact that 
she got her powers from the Tesseract. But I'm not... Let me finish. Well, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so she's essentially as powerful, if not more powerful, than an Infinity Stone. And on top of that, she has done the one thing that every single Avenger, save Thor when he was passed out, has not been able to survive. And that is be in space with no protection whatsoever. Thor managed to do that only because he was already unconscious and the Guardians got there soon enough that he didn't die. Because mm -hmm. he would have died. It's not like... And I mean, also, he's like Im practically immortal 1500 years, give or take a few. Anyway. Um, so he has that certain ability, but he's but it's not like... You know, Carol is just... She's human, and now that she has the Tesseract, the Tesseract's powers, now she all of a sudden can breathe in space, not freeze to death, and but can he, do the one thing that literally every other Avenger and villain, for that matter, has not been able to do. But keep in mind, it's the Space Stone's power that she has. So it kind of makes sense that she but can that's do not things... The, form of space I think that the space stone represents. I know, but like, it, it's not that form, but like, if you think about it, she is surviving in space, like, yeah, but it, I'm the, just saying, the stone is space, so I'm just I mean, saying that essentially, just that small fact that she can do that, I mean, even, um, Star-Lord, who is half celestial, cannot breathe in space without a mask. And she is a human who got hit with an explosion that just so happened to also possess the powers of the Tesseract, and now all of a sudden she cancels out literally every single Avenger in the fact that she can breathe in space. But I mean, like, look at Jane when she got the power of the Aether. Like, obviously she didn't have to go into space or anything, but, like, she became super powerful. But it like, also almost killed her, so why didn't it also almost kill Carol? Because she was basically already dead. <laughs> and then you have to remember that the Kree gave her a blood transfusion as well. So, but then would that make the Kree more powerful than humans, and therefore they can possess an well, infinity Well, no, 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 no. But here, like, it's the same thing that happened with... Uh, Nick Fury and Agent Coulson when he gave him like the blood transfusion. She was already dying with a loss of blood, but they gave her more blood to keep her alive. So it's not necessarily that they're more powerful, it's just that they gave her more blood so she could continue living. But she still has negated the other Avengers, and so just the fact that she has done that makes me upset because if she is this powerful person that you can't kill the way that you can kill every other living creature in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe by sending them out into space where there is no... where it's freezing and there's no oxygen or whatever the heck that creature will breathe. That's how they killed people in Infinity War. That's how they've killed people in multiple other movies. And so the fact that you have taken that away from her and the fact that now she does not seem to have a weakness because she doesn't have that stupid thing on her neck controlling her anymore. She doesn't have any limitations to what she can do in regards to physics or gravity or any of that and now she can no longer be killed by se being sent out into space. She is essentially invincible. I don't know. I feel like we'll figure this out. And more I mean. invincible than Thanos even because if you send him off into space with nothing he's gonna die too. I don't know. I feel like we're, this is all gonna like figure itself out in Endgame because mm -hmm. we still have another movie. In. <laughs> just, I know. just breathe. But it's I okay. just, I just don't want her to be the answer because. Well, I think in the comics, doesn't Nebula defeat Thanos? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I've only read one comic book, and it ended in a cliffhanger, and now I can't find the next one. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Nebula's the one that deals the final blow because that was like her thing that she always wanted to do. Well, I think there's also multiple storylines. That's true. So that may have been in one storyline and there's another one or something. 
I don't know, but I feel like I really want the key to just be the original six coming together for one final battle. And then one of, and then as a collective group working together like they used to in the first Avengers, they are able to overpower Thanos. Because if you think about Infinity War, not all six of the original Avengers were ever together at one time. Right. Because even when they were all in Wakanda, Tony Stark was still off in Titan. Right. And so there were only five of the Avengers. And, and Hawkeye think, wasn't there either. Yeah. And if you think about like Jay and Ben's theory where each of them represents an Infinity Stone, they, don't have to they be would together. need the entire Infinity Gauntlet to defeat Thanos. Yeah. And they didn't have that. And so I really want that to be the answer, is they need to unite, come together one more time, and have this final battle where they defeat Thanos because they have been working together for so long and they know how each other work and strengths and weaknesses and they can work together and you know Captain Marvel obviously will be able to play a role in that but I don't want her to be the ultimate answer. Right. I don't so. know. Overall, I enjoyed the movie, and it yeah, sparked it was a really good movie. many questions, apparently, so. Many questions. She, okay, one last time. thing. When that end scene came on, though, I almost cried. That was a Like, Captain America showed up, and I literally almost started crying right Captain then Marvel. and there. <laughs> no, here's no, Captain okay. America. Uh -oh. No, like, as soon scene. as Captain America showed up, I, like, squealed a little bit, <laughs> and I was like, ah. And, like, I don't know if Savannah can attest to this, because I was sitting next to her when we were watching it, but I, like, totally freaked out. And then, like, the rest of them showed up, and I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost cried, and I don't really know why. I think it just brought it just, back painful it, memories, but... Huh, I, I don't know. Cried. But I am... I am excited for any game. Like, so excited, but I'm also a little nervous. But, yeah, yeah. Like, that, that happens with all Marvel movies. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's be honest here. Yeah. All right. Well, so that was our review of the movie and a little bit of extra stuff, <laughs> just you know. But <laughs> all right, uh, don't forget to fill out our feedback form in the description, as you know. Uh, if you're not subscribed, you totally should, and make sure to click the bell icon so you're notified when we post new videos, so you can. And if yeah, you of it. feel free to share your thoughts about the movie down in the um, comments. I and call also, this you know what? Debate w with Emma and I about like the points we just <laughs> made because like that's always fun for us when you guys make comments and we can like look at them and be like, oh I my always goodness, what? I love seeing like the geek versers interact with each other in the comments. That it's just so makes me fun. feel so happy. And it's so cool when we get to get involved too and like see your guys' perspectives. Mm -hmm. and, and then when you guys bring something that we didn't think about, it's like, wait, what? Yeah. So, I know a couple people have had Percy Jackson things that were like, that's that's really interesting. Um, so yeah, definitely feel yeah. free to leave. Please, please leave comments. Yeah. It's, it's really, we, love it. we definitely go through them on a regular basis. Yes. I, I think we both find them intriguing and exciting to read about, uh, knowing that, you know, people actually watch and, you yeah. know, we can interact with people outside of just making the videos, so, yeah, but that's everything. Alright. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs>